All right. Yeah, a, a dressing room. A dressing room would work perfectly. Okay, so let's let's smash our way through that. I'm gonna put these here. Yeah, we don't need that many beds. Okay, so let's let's actually get the right block so I'm not just using up all of my cladding left and right. Like a chump. Okay, here we go. Uh it's a Kenya. Okay, there we go. Wooden wall. Okay, so we need I don't even remember what's required for it's like an arm armoire and some other things. Actually, do we do we have it connected to the end? No, we'll have it connected to the outside, come to think of it, because you don't really have like a a dressing room properly. Also, the space issues. Yeah, here we go. Do I already have the armoire? Because we've got a dressing table. We got some wardrobes. But we might we might need an armoire and some other things. All right, well let's start with that. And you know I'm gonna put one of these here, one of these here. And we gotta go. Do we have? I have one of each of these, but I think we're gonna need at least we're gonna need one more. Trying to remember. I'm trying to remember everything. It's been a while. Yeah, we need one of these, which requires copper ingots. I'm out of copper? Oh, that's why I'm out of copper. Duh. Okay, here we go. Oh, I can't make magic doors. Okay, I'll probably make a bunch of those then. Uh, magic doors are actually kind of neat, in my opinion. Okay, it's under furniture. Cause yeah, we got equipment display stands and stuff like that. Decorative shields, clover card. Oh, chimneys. Oh, we can't make columns. Okay, I'll keep that in mind then. Uh, bathtub sinks. Yeah, so what I'll probably do is have a separate on the other side that has a bathtub and a sink and a stove in it. But yeah, I'll have two directly next to each other. One will be uh, a, a private bathroom thing, and the other is going to be a dressing room. But I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to have... Um... I don't know what I'm going to have where. Okay, let's get rid of these. These these small dresser, dressers are going to be more of a pain than anything else. Okay, where'd that armor go? There it is. Bag is full, damn it. Uh... Just delete this door. It's never going to do me any good. There we go. I forgot how large this thing was. Now let's let's turn it 90 degrees. Because I want to fit... Um, I'm going to have the, the swords there. I've got one more decorative pair of swords. Decorative armor. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're still missing a light source. And a stool. Stone stool matches enough. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a I'm just gonna put a fire in here for the time being. I mean we could try this somewhere. Oh, can I Okay, there we go. We've built a room. What are we missing? We're missing we're missing someone from here. Or something from here. Buildings. Room armory. Here we go. Uh, two chairs. And only one or ornamental sword. Okay, well. There's not a whole lot of room to <laughs> manage inventory in this... In this cramped little place. But that's okay. Oh, we've already got a second stone stool here. I'll just put it there. All right, now we've got an armory. Nice. Okay, let's go back to the hardwood tiles for a second. Need me to go out this way. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to just build a very small... I 
I'm just gonna build a very small bathroom right here. I really wish there was like a, a small door that I could actually um work with. I'm trying to trying to think of like a good example of a very small door that like really just a small door that isn't one of the cell doors in this game. Because those are like weird and impressively small. And like because you don't need a, a double double wide anything for this. Or whatever. You can make a storage shed with a straw door somewhere. Nah, I'd just rather i rather use one of the regular, more interesting looking ones, personally. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna break these. Break that room. Should probably grab the, the beds, come to think of it. Uh, bit of bit of bit of bit of bit of Here we are. Okay. Okay, put the door... Put the door here. There we go. Okay, so now we can come through, and then we've got a ton of wooden walls. Perfect. Hmm. This didn't work. There we go. So yeah, what we what we can do is just this. And then I'll put a bathtub and a sink in here. Not much, but that's it doesn't need much. And you know what? Maybe I'll put a dressing table in as well. Do we have Do I not have any bathtubs? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well I'll start with now. Let's go make the bathtub, let's go make the sink, then I'll figure it out past this. We could also put a window in. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe one of the really small windows. I'll think about that for later. Okay. Oh, towel rail. Absolutely. Gotta have a towel rail. And a wash tub. Oh, shoot. We should actually, um... Now that I'm thinking about it, we should actually... Um, we should actually not use, uh, wood for the floor. Of course, now i got to figure out which one of these is the one with the hot water and whatever. Well, I guess this isn't anything of any use. Okay, was it you? Which one lets me build the freaking bath? Is it this one? It's one of these along the way. Oh! It's the original one. I was really hoping that the builder's table would actually let me build everything in the game. But, weirdly enough, not the case. It's very strange, actually. Yeah, okay, so stove. Sink. Bathtub. Requires stone. Alright. Well, let's go get some stone, then. Didn't realize I was totally out. Well, I guess there should be some... Through this portal, maybe? Put a stone outline at the top before the roof. Eh? I don't want to make my buildings too tall, though. That'd be the one problem. Okay. Uh, right. I was looking for stone. So, question is, what do I think of the game? You're thinking of getting it. Get it! It's so good! It- I- Okay, so I'm, I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying this is my favorite game of 2016. It is... It's not perfect, there's a lot of things wrong with it, but, I mean, what game is perfect? Um, it's got really... I, the story mode is really fun. The visuals are really nice and cheery and really well... Uh, like, well painted on. I don't know, I've never liked uh, Minecraft's visual texture. We might not have uh, stones around here. Okay, well, um... But, uh... You know, just as it stands, it's a really enjoyable game to kind of romp around and have fun and explore. The only the only problem with the game is that the kind of the end game gets a little bit repetitive and therefore I guess boring. Um kind of depends on your perspective on things. Oh, can I not? Okay, we can. Might as well grab these while we're here. But like of all of the games that I've played this year, this one probably is one of the more interesting ones. 
and is the most feature complete. Most other sandbox games, you get them and they're like half done or half baked. And this one may be a little bit on the half baked side still, but that's just because I've been playing this for three months now. And I'm starting to get a little bored of it, but <laughs> I've sunk more time into this than most games this whole year. Let's see, is this for Xbox One? Sadly, no. This is a uh, Square Enix game, and it's for the PS4 and PS uh, PS Vita only, sadly. How much is the game? 40 to 60 bucks? Somewhere in there? So, I mean, it's not cheap, but personally, I really like it. <laughs> And uh, for people that keep asking me, the answer is always just, yeah, I'd say it's worth it. If it if this looks enjoyable, and it kind of probably does, then I'd say definitely, definitely give it a look-see. Because, yeah. What other games have I enjoyed? I guess I, I'm just thinking of sandboxy games right now that I actually enjoy. The answer are, answers are Starbound. Uh, Subnautica and Dragon Quest Builders. I think all the other ones are kind of... Kind of just shallow and uninteresting in comparison. But, no, I've just... I've I've had a lot of fun playing this game. And I really like it. Seems like it gets boring quickly. Well, that's because I'm playing the end game. Like, you were watching the very, very end of the game. Of course it's gonna look like it gets boring quickly. But it also really depends on what you're going for. I guess the other reason why I really like it is it's because it's a beautiful, um... It, it's a beautiful fusion between three genres of game that have never been combined well before, which I really dig. Let's see, does it have multiplayer? Sadly, no. They're actually... They're gonna be adding multiplayer to the, the sequel. Uh, which should be around in a couple of years, probably. But, I mean, that's... That's something to wait for. Because, yeah, I... I know the developer won some kind of reward. Or reward award for uh for everything. Hey, I actually have a person now. A new resident arrives in Terra Incognita. Do you need backup? Nope. Alright, hopefully she goes off to get clo get clothing. Anyway, Marshall Maiden. Oh, summon res residence. That's not what I wanted to do. Marshall Maiden. Add to my favorites. Yes. I'm gonna get rid of these. I'll get the Pow Yowie, he's fun. Hopefully, uh, she goes to get some clothing. So they don't even have names! It's just Marshall Maiden. That's really disappointing, actually. I was really hoping that she would, um... She would... Uh, like, get a name at some point. And I'd, uh... You know, I'd at least be able to refer to her as something other than generic fighter chick. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it kind of boils into my complaints about the endgame for this. I love it. I really do like this game. Ah, uh, but boy, this was kind of a tacked on mode. Okay, towel bar, stove. Okay, and it's in here if I want to finish this. Okay, bathtub. Yeah, we got to get a library, too. I'll figure that out in a bit. Ooh, a well. I'm just going to make a well. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going to put it. I'll just make a well and put it somewhere. Sadly, the wells are, like, tiny. Comically so, really. Right. I can finally pick these up. Is there anything in here? Oh, right. These are, these are like, the weird supplies. Okay. I'm pretty proud of myself here. This is this is neat. Okay, so let's let's put the bathtub in this corner. Let's put the sink here. Put the stove between. We built a room. Oh. Let's put the, okay, let's let's rethink. Let's put the stove there. Put that there. Towel bar here. Wash tub right below it. And do we have any of the small windows? We don't, but I kind of feel like I shouldn't. I 
And this is probably a decent place to just toss some bottles. Okay, there we go. Now we've got a decent looking little, uh, we got a decent looking little bathroom and I'll put a small window on it for the time being. Okay. So what am I gonna do next? So we gotta put rooftops on this, but honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to. Oh, right. I forgot I was actually going to tear up this whole thing and put a stone floor on. Nah, it matches. The whole area. Sadly, you can't put anything more than um, anything like, I'm not going to be able to put any, uh, special kinds of... What am I... What do I want to say? Setups here? Like, I, I'd really like to have... Well, no, not setups. Uh, special types of rooftops. It's always just the same type of rooftop across the board. Unless I want to do, um... Unless I want to do, like, uh, crenellations up here. And do some kind of basic wooden roof past that. Could. I don't know. Let's eat our beans and think about what we've done so far. I guess I should probably finish off the uh, the columns now that I've got the uh, the inn done. Okay. So we want hardwood pedestal. Directly underneath. Column. Capital. There we go. Do we get rid of the other one? Maybe. Or do we... Get rid of the other one. Or I could just continue the... Continue the trend. There we go. Okay, there. I think that's actually pretty evenly spaced. It... Okay, it's not quite evenly spaced. This one would need to go over one to be perfect. I don't know. I'll think about it. For the time being, don't care. Yeah, we need to get a treasury. We should also get, like, a, uh, a throne room at some point. I guess we need a princess first. Or, no, we need a throne room to get a princess. Not that we really need one. It'd actually be really neat if there were some uh, NPC types that you couldn't normally run into until um, afterwards. These people suck at this town. I guess. <sighs> hmm. I'll keep an eye out. Let's see. Let's see when it becomes uh, daytime. Okay, so I got that taken care of. Uh, what do we do next? I mean, I could extend this way and we can build the next thing. We can... Hmm. I guess I should probably figure out what, what the next building I want to do is. The one problem is I really wish I could pick this up. I guess we could t take a break from things. It would be really neat if I could do, um... It'd be really neat if I could, uh... What am I thinking? Hmm. Like... If we could, uh, if we could pick this up, I could move the whole town square. I don't want to, like, move everything down. Because that'd be inconvenient. Because, like, okay, here's the problem. I've got all of my buildings above. But I kind of like that. I like them up high. I guess really I just need to get a proper bridge here. Or maybe a staircase or something. It feels like... Oh yeah, it does feel like she's broken here. Alright, whatever. Uh, here's, here's how we're going to do this. I'm just going to... I'm just going to have a secondary staircase that goes up. Because they don't take ladders. So I get... Yeah, let's, let's grab stairs. Hmm. Cause yeah, she's she's trying to get to the uh, 
the dressing room. So one, two, two. No, God dang it, that really is not where I was trying to place that. Okay. Three, hardwood tile. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna have a, a quick little staircase route up this way. Is that where she was going? That was, in fact, where she's going. Unfortunately, I think we still need one more hardwood. Which I've now lost. There we are. We need one more hardwood tile to get her to come up properly. She might be able to do it anyway. But there we go. Okay. Because I bet the reason why her AI was broken was because she wanted to go put on new clothes, but she couldn't figure out her her way across. That's That's interesting. Okay, there we go. So now she's got proper clothing and she should be able to get to places. And she should be able to go to bed. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm gonna... Nope, we don't want to do that. I'm gonna expand the staircase a bit. Uh, mainly just because it's... It's a little bit thin and super inconvenient as a result. I do think this will mean I won't put a... I, I think I will extend things further this way, because I kind of like the uh, floating above the water setup here. Um, but yeah, we'll just have some extra staircases that go around, and we'll just have this place, like, keep going up, and maybe some other things. Okay. At least we know she functions. Better than some other places. The question is, do we make a bridge here, or do we give up on the bridge? Because they can't seem to figure out how to path it anyway. I don't know. I also really wish you could have, like, corner stairs and stuff like that, because then it could make this, like, kind of interesting plaza down here. Well, <sighs> next time we play this game, I'll, I'll plan my town out uh, a little bit more. With, like, a, a, a proper tiering system. Because I don't... I, Unless I could, like, copy and paste the whole thing and, like, cut it up. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of interest in doing this sort of thing a second time. Yeah. Okay, let's... Eh, I'll just... I kind of want to... I kind of want to tear it up. Yeah, we'll just tear it up. I'll... I'll replace it. Can I... Oh, cool. I can dig it up from below. Is this game fun? I love it. Like like I said minutes ago, which unfortunately people come in and out being like, is this game fun? And it's like, yes. Is this game fun? Yes. Uh, this is what drove me insane with the uh, enter the gungeon thing at the beginning of the year. Okay. Yeah, next time, next time I do this, I'll plan it out so that everything radiates out of this. Um, but not for now. Okay, question. Let's find a good spot for this. How deep can we go? Okay, so the answer is... We can go two layers down from default. So yeah, actually, if I did want to do a, uh, a hot bath... Uh, two layers down from here. Uh -oh. Two or one. Okay, two layers down from this level. Three from here. Four. Okay, so it would be four high. That'd be a little rough. Because the water would be... deep from here. I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, we could do some... Oh. Okay, here's what here's what I'm gonna do. Um, we need a good spot for a hot bath. I almost feel like, uh, right here would actually be, like, a really good spot for this, maybe? I don't know. Like, being up against the mountain cornered in here would actually be, like, a really cool idea. I just feel like it might be a little bit far from the town center. Maybe? Hard to think about. I don't know. Yeah, 
course, there's nothing here yet. I guess the other option is we could just give up on this for a short while. Let's go back to let's go back to working on the Tower of Cheese. I'm a little bit tired and I don't want to think about sandboxy things for a moment. Okay, so I got 11 of these. Got a lot of grass seeds. Uh, what do we want? Really, I just want my car. There's my car. Okay. Let's see. Travel to Terra Gladiatoria. I wonder if I could actually bring a uh, Terra Gladiatoria with me. Okay. Uh, do I have a? Do I have the thing upstairs? Oh, I do. Okay. Cool. Okay. So if I want to make um. Okay, so we haven't done feathery trouble yet. So we need flattened trussel, prickly trouble. Okay, so let's do flattened trussel or tussle. What else do we need? This needs poisonous tussle, roughed up tussle. So it looks like it just goes the same same loop here. Oh, we're out of copper. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll have to. I'll have to go mine some. I'll do that later. Okay. Yeah. So let's, let's make these for the time being, and let's let's see what kind of uh, let's see what kind of things we can run into, or we will run into on these. So feathery trouble. It's probably going to be nothing but chimera, which is fine. We need more warp wings anyway. The one worry is these guys are gonna be busting up my my ladders and stuff. Oh crap! Okay, so incredibly bad news. Golems can bust up uh, obsidian. Okay. So. The Tower of Infinite Cheese needs to be demolished. Because the Tower of Infinite Cheese isn't sufficient. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure out something new. Man, I'm disappointed. The Tower of Infinite Cheese had so much promise. And somebody comes in and just bashes it open. Alright. Well, that sucks. Well, I'll just clean it up slowly. Unfortunately, clearing or getting rid of this is kind of inconvenient. I mean, luckily, these guys will just kill themselves. I don't really have to do too much. But I might as well start cleaning up the tower as they die. And we'll once we get down or once they actually are capable of hitting me, then I'm just going to go back and um, and fight them with the bash mobile. Till then though, let's uh, let's just drop down a bit. And keep demolishing this tower. They'll die eventually or they'll start spawning. I guess, yeah, some of these king slimes don't look like they're going to be particularly killable, though. I think they're breaking my, they're breaking my spikes, which is not welcome. Oh yeah, other point. Uh, how high did they break? Looks like it's uh three tiles, four tiles. Okay, so everything above four tiles is probably fine, unless maybe it's a gigantes. If it's a gigantes, it could be a problem. Oh right, I can't I can't kill the Chimera with my current setup anyway. Then again, kind of do that. I'll kill them in a second. I wanna I wanna clear at least as much of the tower as I can while we're here. Okay, thank you. And then we got the Bashmobile, which is like the most broken thing in existence. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could actually just Bashmobile. Bashmobile my way through every problem. But there's something just uninteresting about that, honestly.
Yeah, you guys just don't know what to do about me. I wonder how deep the, uh... No, we, we wouldn't be able to make an underground bunker. I don't think we got the... I don't think we got the setup for that. Well, that's unfortunate. You know, I'm just gonna plow through these guys. Let's see, can you attach spikes to a piston wall? Nah, sadly. Spikes can only be attached to, uh... to floors. I mean, our best option would actually be to have, um... a tower... or not a tower, a, a floating platform, effectively. Uh, that, like, floats above a field of spikes. And what you do is you just, um, just go up the stairs elsewhere. Uh, like, you go up the stairs elsewhere, and they all just congregate underneath you, confusedly, and then die, presumably. However, that doesn't work so hot. At least as as this current setup is. So I'll have to figure out a, a better setup. I'm just gonna put spikes around for the time being. We'll just uh, finish off the last ticket with the with the bash mobile. Are these all my spikes or do I do I have any more in my inventory? Hey I do. Okay cool. We might as well expand my spike setup for the time being. At some point I'll probably clear it out, but not right now. Okay. Ow. Dang it. Yeah, when you come off the top of the ladder, it, it kind of pops you. It's weird. Actually, no. We want to we wanna go reverse. There we go. This will save time. Unless I fall. But honestly, kind of expecting falling right now. There we go. Okay. Falling again. Kind of a constant thing here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so let's, uh... Let's just tear all of this stuff down. It'll be done. It'll be done shortly. There we go. I am... Fading fast. But that's under understandable. You don't stream it as much as I do without some level of drawbacks. Okay, so I've still got some... Um... I've still got some spikes left. I guess we might as well spike this up with the expectation that something happens. Or not that something happens, with the expectation that they'll still do a lot of damage to enemies. So I'll just make this weird diamond shape for the time being. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good enough. Let's use the other ticket, and then let's just fight things. Okay. Yeah, at some point, I want to make a a, uh, a totally unassailable fortress. I just got to figure out what the dealio is. I guess if I get these guys stuck into a pit, that would work. But the problem is there's, like, no... Oh. No... I mean, really, we just need to try different materials like Xenthium and stuff. And we gotta figure out which monsters have the best, um... The best... Like, breaking power? Cuz, uh... Tainted trees, lots of, like, cool grass bits. Uh... Cuz if we can figure out if there's, like, a material that is unbreakable, then that'd be perfect. Yeah, cover the land in spikes so even a Gigantes dies before reaching the center. We gotta figure that out if that's available, uh, at all. I know somebody left a comment on one of the videos, uh, saying, ooh. Okay, so that's how we can add, have infinite, uh, stuff. Yeah. Let's see. Um, we could just do the, the spikes, and it's kind of tempting. Um, and I mean, I could just bash mobile. I just want to keep testing and, and figure out what's, what's necessary. Uh, the one other consideration is I'm, um, that I'm noticing is the monsters will aggro on the player, but if you're never if you're never near it, they don't come for you. So yeah, if we hang out over here, 
Oh, they seem to be entirely... Oh, no, they're being affected by the spikes. Yeah, if I don't get near them here... Okay, I want to go check this. We've got one more, one more wave. I'm just going to stop. We're going to stop over here. Oh, there's an, there's an invisible wall. Huh. Yeah, so if you notice, the uh, the scare wolves and stuff, they're all just going to be over there. I guess the really, the really unassailable fortress, uh, if I really wanted to do it, all I'd have to do is just build a hut out here and hang out. Because if they don't have anything in their path, they don't try and destroy it. They just sit there, and they get really confused. And I get free resources. So yeah, the spikes are truly unbeatable. The only problem is uh, the... What are they? The, uh, the birds are a problem. I mean, but at that point, they're, they're not that common. I could just blow through them. Actually, I wonder if golems can break golemite. That's an inter interesting question. Unfortunately, I'm totally out of copper, so I'm not going to be able to test for a while. Which sucks. But that's okay. Uh, let's see, is there anything in my inventory to work with? Yeah, we got golemite now, which means I can probably make some more bulwarks. You know, that's the other, actually, answer. Uh, how many? Wow. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna need more resources soon enough. Uh, what does it require to make a Cantlin Bulwark? Or a Cantlin Shield, my bad. Just Ori Helcom and Golemite. Uh, so we could potentially make... Can in the middle. Uh, the reason why you kind of don't want to do that is just because you'd have to rebuild all the spikes. So a cannon isn't exactly something that I'd, I'd want. Okay, so we can farm that last one if we want to and just make everything out of, out of bulwarks. Uh, which would work. The only problem is you can't build on top of the bulwarks, which sucks. Yeah, it does look like she's working in here, though. Oh, hey, we got some other resources that are hanging out right from earlier. Well, let's grab these for the time being. Okay, so my inventory is crazy full. What can we do with it? I guess I'm just gonna go try cooking things. Let's see, why not the Cantlin Shield? The problem, the main problem with the Cantlin Shield is I just, I can't build on top of it, but I guess if I made enough Cantlin Shields, we could actually just make it a, a totally unstoppable, uh, unassailable fortress that just, you can't get close to it. The only problem is they might try, like, busting through it anyway. Uh, which would be mildly inconvenient. Let's see, fruit salad, no, bunny burger, sure. Cooked crab claw, yeah, there we go. Now I have infinite food. At some point we'll have some more more humans to, to make food for me. But for the time being, I guess this will have to do. Alright, and let's go save.